Let's play Contra! I mean, that game was a classic on the uh, good old Henia, so... How is it going to fare on the Commodore 64? Oh, Contra, brought to you in the glory of all four colors. Oh, brought to you by DGN. Okay, so already the game barely even started, and you can already tell that this game is going to be fucking awful. I mean, look at the controls that we have going here. This is not a game that you can play on your joystick. It is joystick and keyboard. Because in order to jump, we need to press space bar. So how is this going to translate in terms of play? Let's figure this out. I mean, there could be a way in order to play this game, and it basically will be to play with Joy to Key and Map Spacebar to a button on your joystick, but that will be cheating, because back in the 80s, people were not able to do this, so... Yep, you will have to just be right next to your keyboard, and yeah, you will need to use your feet in order to press the spacebar in order to jump, and that will pretty much be easier said than done. Unfortunately, I couldn't do it because I do play all games on the Commodore 64 with my keyboard. I have all of the joystick controls mapped to the keyboard considering how simple these games are and usually I don't want any kind of hassle whenever games require like joystick port number one or joystick port number two because no two games out here on the system do the same thing so you always need a different joystick in order to play any different game Usually the standard is that you will play games using port number 2, but sometimes games will also use port number 1 instead. Also, this game is taking... Oh, okay. I was gonna say this game is taking awfully long to load, but here we are. You know what? This is gonna be the only instance on the Commodore 64 crypt where I will cheat at a game. We're going to put unlimited lives on because otherwise we're not going to make it through this game. Oh yeah, also remember the good old Contra team? Yeah, that's exactly how it goes. Goodness, this is great. So yeah, that's our good old badass Contra. Isn't that what everybody wants? So yeah, every single time that I want to... J oh, okay, I apparently picked up a rifle, but I completely lost it. Oops. <laughs> Okay, so apparently that's the ending music, because I honestly could not tell you, considering that the last time that I played Contra was a long time ago. I remember being able to beat it without the cheats, but this is absolutely not something that you're going to guess looking at my footage. And yeah, also the firing is really stilted. Right now I'm holding the firing, and this is how slow you fire. And yeah, I don't think... Yeah, the level layout is definitely not entirely faithful, neither. I remember you needing to go through several other hurdles. Also, how many shots do these fucking turrets need? They, they need like seven shots! All right, we're falling through the base. Oh. Oh my... <laughs> oh my god. That doesn't look the best. I mean, could be worse, but it could be far less... Uh, 
Uh, ah, no. Oh yeah, also by the way, you know what thing that Contro has uh, that really makes the game enjoyable for the most part? Uh, ah, no. Oh shit, alright, now I gotta shoot a target which is up. And you know what that means, it's time to huddle over your joystick and your space bar in order to do this, because otherwise you're not gonna hit the target. Wait, I ran out of time? Oh my god, there's time! There was no time in the original Contra, I don't remember this being a thing, what is this? Oh, okay, there's not even any boss! Uh, oh, okay, the boss apparently is his own different stage. And also, the playing field is so tiny that it's really hard to dodge anything. But yeah, now I'm starting to answer my- to ask myself a question. Is that the only song in the entire game? Because so far I haven't heard anything. So no, these are not stripper poles, it's the elevator! Come on! Don't be so childish! <laughs> Alright, now it's time to fight the Master Horde. Once again, that's a boss that is going to be kind of a pain in the ass because you cannot fire any faster than what I'm shooting right now. Oh, and also the shots of the boss take two hits in order to kill. So it's very foolish to even try to duke it out against his projectiles because there's a good chance that you're just going to get killed. Uh oh, alright, the boss is running low of health, so he's starting to shoot a shitload. Alright! We're gonna ride this grail this grail cup to victory! Wait, also these enemies were not supposed to be introduced this quick in the game? Uh, oops. Also these terrorists just look like they're wearing baseball caps or something. Oh my god, this level is gonna be fun! Uh, wait, why did I spawn on the other side of the... Of the I fail to see how anyone will beat this legitimately. <laughs> I, I mean, well, nobody's gonna put forth the effort to beat this lit. Oh, okay, and this guy just shoots you the moment that. Oh, okay. Okay, laser. Oh, okay, I was gonna say the laser seems actually promising, but that's all that we're gonna hear out of him. Oh my god, I cannot shoot in diagonally unless that I'm moving. So therefore, in order to kill this one enemy that takes close to like 12 hits or something, well, that's a lot of shots that you have to shoot. Oh no, now the mount- uh. Oh, okay. <laughs> No, apparently you have inf invincibility frame. You have in invincibility frames for when you're touching the ground. Ah, come on, I gotta get my ass! Alright, show yourself, you alien! Wait! Fuck, that's not even the same boss and it's supposed to be! Why did the, the, the boss entirely change? Come on, that's not a port of Contra, that's a mockery, what are you talking about? Honestly, I don't even remember this being a boss- uh, Oh my god, the controls here is also really bad, unless that I'm running, I'm shooting up. Uh, ah, no! <laughs> oh 
Wow, holy shit. Did the people who made this game expect you like to beat this game without infinite lives or something? Oh my goodness, I'm laughing at this game's face right now. Due to how bad it is. Hey, we have never been trained in order to use our guns. All we can do is run toward you. There'll be still enough in order to kill you, right? Oh no, apparently that's the top thing that you have to kill. Not the guns, alright. Oh no, we blew off. Alright, section 4. Ah no, obviously the first thing in the level. Hey, we have to hit the already a moving, uh, not a moving, but a target which is in the air. Also, every single soldier here just looks like that they're in a hurry in order to uh, go do stuff. Okay, so what was the boss of level 4 again? I'm kinda dying to see if once again they made up bosses in order to replace uh, the enemies into this game. Ah, uh, why is every target in the air? I'm sorry, but that's not a good game mechanic, especially when your jump button is not on your joystick, because it would have been impossible to jump into this game with a, a Commodore 64 controller. Oh, and the countdown just blew up. Oh. I pretty much just hit the tip of the explosion. Oh, alright. Here's to another level where the only... Uh, I don't know, was that the boss? And yeah, the targets were indeed not aligned with my jump apex. They were just... Pretty much put to randomly. Oh boy, okay, this boss is gonna be fun. More so considering that I didn't even kill the turret. Okay, I was gonna wonder for a minute, holy shit, how the hell am I not dying? This is kind of a wreck, but... Wow, the second... You pretty much have to kill the gun on your first priority here, because... Otherwise, you're never gonna be able to kill the gun, because... You have a slow rate of fire, and finally, well, you know... These things take two shots in order to even kill, so... Oh my god... Also, good thing that the Konami code is not in this game, because... At this point, we will have ran through the entire lives of the Konami code at least six times by now. I haven't counted how many deaths that we've had, but I can already tell there's been way too many. But hey, at least I managed to render this boss even though it didn't actually completely look this way, but at least they retained the gimmick. Alright, we're finally doing some progress. So yeah, this is level 5, so the game told that there were only 6 levels, so that means that they've cut some levels from this game. I'm really dying to see what exactly was cut from this game and everything. This is the most tedious boss ever. <laughs> also, you did not miss anything, you're just missing the worst port of control ever programmed by mankind. Oh, actually this is the last level! Wait, last level is the snow field? Uh.
So why is this the last level of the game? Uh, ow. I've been shot by the very slow pro falling projectiles. I mean, how efficient is this game? Are these game gun even at? Okay, I mean, they were pretty much built for this one encounter. Come on, why won't you die, for fuck's sake? Ah, oh, finally, why do these enemies take like 12 hits when you shoot at like... No, they don't take 12 hits. Oh, laser! Oh hey, that thing was actually in the game. Oh hey, it's off. It's the boss of that one logo. Uh -oh. Also, I'm glad that this game has a boss that requires you to jump, considering... Also, no, that was the boss... Uh, that was the actual boss of the... Uh, of the control of all. Except now he's just a mini-boss. Oh, okay. I guess that they just combined several levels into one, because now we're into the power plant, I think? I really don't remember the name of the levels, I just remember slightly what this level is about, but like, this is the one that has all of the flamethrowers. Oh. Oh, energy zone. Oh my god. Oh yeah, also, I just want to put more emphasis on the good controls of the game. The character just jumps whenever it just feels like jumping. Like, I'm not sure if you can hear me tap the space bar, but yeah. There's almost an entire quarter of a second of delay any single time that you jump. Uh, so, why am I not moving now? Oh, okay, that's because I'm not... <laughs> I w Oh, hey. This boss was so good that we reused it twice. That's what we did in the original Contra too, right? I'll show you a deflate gate. Oh. I will kill this character very slowly by shooting its shoes. You're gonna be barefoot for the rest of your life! Uh, wait. How did the character just random... Uh, oh, fuck. Okay, that segment is going to be hell. How do you even see any of this? Oh my god! Yeah, at this point, we're just going to have the alien base as well right now. We're probably just going to skip over like... Oh no, that's right, this is the, the cart level. Yep, here we go, now it's the alien level. Alright, it's time to fight Penis Alien. Ah, uh, or not, okay, we don't need to fight him. We can just do whatever we want. Also, these enemies don't even look like menacing, they just look... I don't know. Disappointed. Alright, it's time to use our patented strategy of saying fuck this game and just hide behind the boss and just put an end to this fucking charade of a game. Oh, mission completed! Game over! <laughs> what a great ending! <laughs> wow. <laughs> no, that's not a new song. That that was the song that was playing at the beginning of the game during this entire time. <laughs> Uh, 
All right, Contra, thank you. <laughs> Drive through, you did a very good job on this game. <laughs> yeah, I really wonder who actually did this game. 